There she is. What the heck? Uh, okay. Hope you're almost missing going down the street. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> hey guys. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Hello everyone. Welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. If, oh, that was weird. So weird. <laughs> hey guys, Jocelyn here. Welcome to the first ever video on my personal YouTube channel. If you would have told me even last week that these are the circumstances, I would have laughed. But it is what it is. The last week has completely blown my mind. I really just wanted to make this video to be totally honest and completely transparent about the events of the last week. Regretfully, Defy Media has ceased operations today. We are extremely proud of what we accomplished here at Defy and in particular want to thank all the employees who worked here. As some of you guys might know, I've been at Clever since day one a decade ago. I'm Jocelyn coming to you from Clever.com headquarters in Beverly Hills. We started in a tiny little garage and I've witnessed some pretty tough stuff, some really difficult circumstances, making tough choices, seeing people let go, seeing people fired. I've seen a lot of things over the past 10 years, but this, I don't want to sugarcoat it, is definitely the most challenging thing I've been through professionally because of the people involved, my friends, the people that I work with at Clever. It's very personal as well. So I just want to break down the situation of what I know, where we're going to go from here so that everyone involved, including you guys who are so much a part of this journey, I just want everyone to know where things stand. If you know me, I'm a very positive positive, optimistic person, but I've kind of been all over the place with emotions over the last few days. I've had my moments where I've been really upset. I've had moments where all you really can do is hug your friend. Before I leave, I have to come over to the Smosh side though. Hello everyone! Hey! So everybody, I'm making this video just to be honest with you guys, to give you a comprehensive peek into what I know, and I have to let you know I don't have all the answers right now. For those of you who are kind of just finding out about this situation, Defy Media, our parent company, the company that owns Clever, has closed its doors and we have completely halted production. But I want to go back and kind of explain a few things because a lot of you guys had questions. So I started at Clever in a garage. We worked tirelessly. We worked hard because we believed in this. Ultimately, we sold Clever to a company called Alloy Digital, which had actually just purchased Smosh. Then, a few years later in 2014, Alloy Digital merged with Break Media to become Defy Media. I know, a lot of business talk, but I think it's important that you guys understand I do not own Clever, so that's what parent company means. You guys have been sending me so much support, so many amazing questions, and I think even in light of some of the tragedies that have been happening here in Southern California over the last few days and even right now as I film this video with the shootings in Thousand Oaks and the fires all over California, we all still have so much to be grateful for. But I just want to start at the beginning, try to answer as many questions that you guys have as possible. Last Friday. Last Friday, I was out at lunch. I came back and I received word that everyone was to hop on a company call immediately which is very out of the norm. This call was letting us know that Defy Media was having some issues financially with the bank. The WARN Act is basically this act that's meant to protect people from mass layoffs at companies. So essentially they had to send out this notice saying that everyone at the Beverly Hills production office would be laid off on January 2nd because they needed to give us 60 days. If I'm being totally real with you guys, I did not think this was something that would end up affecting us. Clever is a profitable brand. Cut to Monday. 
Monday we go into work. It's business as usual. We're kind of waiting for an update on this situation. Then I go to a meeting that afternoon and we're told for the rest of the week we only can bring in people who are employees of the company. And so we're just leaning out production. And I thought, okay, this is going to be rough, but Clever used to be just two people. We'll be okay. If you guys go back and watch any of the videos that went up on November 6th, you'll notice it was just Aaron and I. And that was because we were the only two people at work that day. Tuesday. A day that I was actually really excited about. Midterm elections, I woke up in the morning, I put on my favorite pantsuit, I went to work, shot a ton of content, left work, went to go vote, and when I came back to the office, was called into another impromptu immediate meeting. There were about 10 of us from Defy in the office. They let us know that Defy Media would be shutting down immediately, that everyone was laid off, production would be halted indefinitely. It happened that fast. We had no idea. I remember sitting in that room feeling very calm, oddly, but just completely shocked. And to be frank, I feel like a lot of that is still how I feel. So also received word that a very small group of people would remain on board to hopefully help the brand Clever and Smosh find new homes. So I should let you guys know that myself, Aaron, and Jill are still at Clever doing everything in our power to help us find a new home and that really is our goal right now. But we left that meeting, had to talk with our entire team who, as you can imagine, were totally shell-shocked. People were crying. I was at work until 10 or 11 p.m. That night, we also emailed all of our freelance staff to let them know what was going on, and I can't imagine receiving that email. I can tell you that everyone has been so supportive and so lovely from strangers, from people in this industry that I respect, that I don't know, who have just reached out to show me some love and support. The YouTube community, my friends, my family, my fellow Clever teammates, all of you guys. 100% we would not be here if it were not for you. And I think that in what can be a really dark world, it's been so beautiful to see just so much love. So I guess, where do we go from here? Well, what I can tell you is that things are still at a standstill. The bank owns Defy Media, which owns Clever. Our Clever team is, in my opinion, the most intelligent, most gifted, most hardworking group of people. And these people could have jobs anywhere. I hope that if you're watching and you're hiring that you hire some of these people because you will be so blessed up. But my goal is that these people either find a home at Clever and that we find a new home very soon or that they find jobs that they love. All of these people, I'm going to have links in my info section to all of their socials. Please give these people a shot. My goal is that the world continues to enjoy amazing content from all of them. We have a real voice and like I said, I'm still very optimistic that Clever will find a home, but as far as where that home will be, how long it's going to take, etc., timeline information, that I don't know yet, but I will be keeping you posted. A few more quick questions from you guys that I would like to answer. Number one, did you know this was going to happen? Absolutely not. No. Not even remotely. I'm fully shocked. Next question. Um, okay, how are you? Um... Like I said, I'm optimistic. I am excited about the future. I already was planning on launching this YouTube channel at the end of the year. I have a lot of other exciting projects that I'm working on, but Clever does remain a priority for me. I want my friends to get their jobs back and I want to continue to entertain you guys. What exactly happened at Defy Media for it to close down? I'm not really sure, but it was out of my control. Lily was already leaving before this. How did you feel? How did she tell you? Will you still try to collaborate? So as you guys know, Lily put out earlier this week that her last full official day at the company was last week, right before all of this happened. She was still planning on staying on board for Beauty Break and some of our other shows. She's been t thinking about this for a while. You guys should just go watch her video because I think she can speak for herself. But as far as how I feel about her, she is family to me. She's like my little sister. We definitely 100% plan to continue 
continue to collaborate. I love working with all these people, but at the end of the day, I just want them to be happy, and happiness is so relative and different for everyone. Can we expect Clever to be back soon? I don't know a timeline yet. Like I already said, I'm not really sure how long this is gonna take, but I'll keep you posted. What will happen to the trolls? the trolls in the beauty break studio don't worry I already have them on my safekeeping and thanks for having priorities I'm not gonna lie Dana and Lily text me immediately to make sure I have the trolls the trolls are with me you can count on that will you still be doing videos for the time being we will not be posting any more videos on clever as far as I know that could change I will be posting videos here and I know that all the other people at clever will be posting videos on their personal channel so if you haven't subscribed go do that because I'm sure all of us will hopefully be making content together in some capacity in some location as we wait to see what happens with the situation I love this one what can we do to help the situation you can go follow all of the amazing people that you know and love from Clever. They all have YouTube channels, Instagrams, Twitters, and they're all so uniquely entertaining and just continue to support all of us by watching videos like this one, just cheering us on from the comment section. And I think that's the best form of support that you can give is just sticking by our sides through this really tough situation. All right, so my closing thoughts. First off, this is so weird not good weird just weird i think there's a difference between the two i'm still hopeful i'm still optimistic i do know that there are people who are actively interested in buying clever but i don't know what exactly that means and not to get too deep thoughts with you guys but i'm a person who has kind of a simple approach to life and its challenges and I've been through some pretty really rough things in the last five years, things that maybe I'll share with you guys on this channel someday. I really think and believe and know in my heart that God has a plan for my life. And I know that sounds silly and simple and I totally get that. But I also believe we need to work hard, pray harder. All those Pinterest quotes, they kind of exist because a lot of them are true, at least to me. And if there's one thing that I don't really feel that uncomfortable saying I'm pretty good at, it's working hard. So I'm gonna work hard for you guys. I guess please subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching my first YouTube video. The weirdest experience of my life. But I don't think anyone's gonna stop us. We're still here. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Oh my gosh, I've been shooting for over 25 minutes. <laughs> this gotta be over. Oh.